I'm going to double my weight. So I cross them up. I'm going to do a single arm row right here, pulling back towards my waist. Here we go. Pull. Release. So see how we did those fast rows at the beginning of the circuit? Now we're going heavy. One sided unilateral. Same movement. Completely different approach. Watch your form. And especially if you're going heavy, there's a tendency to want to add some momentum there like that. Keep those hips square, elbow going back. Right. Only thing moving here is your arm and your back muscles, because those are the muscles that are making this action happen. So, flat back, shoulders are square to the floor, hips don't move, pulling this weight back. So not up, back. When you lift heavy, you have that option, you will notice your heart rate coming up. So lifting heavier is not going to make you bigger, but it is harder, so your body has to work a little bit harder, which brings your heart rate up. And rest. Excellent. Okay, alternating rear lunge. I promise this is the last time with these rear lunges or these split lunges. As you go back, the leg that goes back, you're going to hammer curl. Go alternate, tap back, or lunge back. Right leg, go. Other side. Tap back, or lunge back. Pick which one works for you. I want to give you options. I want people, women, that have knee issues, and this is for, I've been fit over 40, right? There might be some knee issues out there. I want to give you options so you can stay working out with us. And as you strengthen those muscles around the knee, potentially, it could get a little easier to bend the knee, depending on what's going on. Got a rest coming here. And just like that, first circuit is over. Great job so far. I hope you felt that. We had back work and bicep work there. Not to mention the lower body, right? Now, moving into shoulders. I'm going with my lightweight, same type of pattern, alternating overhead shoulder press, all right? Got to go quickly with this move. See my box? I'm not down here. Bottom of the box. Here we go. Switch it up. Now I'm going to stagger stance front foot forward. One foot forward, I should say. And this, for me, feels good. Maybe you like it like this. Maybe you want to go with the other foot. Wherever you feel like you have a good support, you can keep your movement going, your body balanced, and shoulders back. This is heavy, right? <laughs> Woo and rest it. Wow. All right, that woke up the shoulders. This one's going to wake them up as well, right? It's the front and the back of the shoulder this time. Keep that box. Squeeze, open. Squeeze, and this is going to be tough. You need to put the weight down. Put it down. Just squeeze and open. Gravity is pulling on your arms. So, that is resistance. Gravity is resistance. Feel the body work. Feels good, in a way. It also is hard. People think this is easy for me. It's not. It's hard for me too. And if you're just starting out, believe me, I just started out once. Everybody did. This doesn't come naturally. You've got to work at it. And it takes consistency. Not a lot of time. And feel the burn. Not a lot of time. Every day, do something. I'm going to switch to one heavy weight. I'm going to pull from the floor. Or if you can't reach the floor, you're going to be here. Press it up, switch hands, 
Press it up. Here we go. From the floor, if you can, push. Way down, switch hands. So whether you're switching hands on the floor or you're switching hands up here, you're going to stay at the same pace. Just takes that deeper knee bend out. You need to do that. And I hope you feel now you are moving into your shoulders, your working shoulders. We worked back, biceps. Here are your shoulders. You see it all the time, it's true. When your shoulders look good, everything looks good. It really does. Just make sure upper body, the arms all come together. All right, here we go. Back to that squeeze and a rear leg raise. Ready? Right leg raises. Here we go. Lift it, hand down, lift. So as you squeeze, the leg comes back, balance. Here's your balance element. Shows up in my videos pretty often. Love to work balance because as our bodies change, and they do, as we age, our balance changes, right? Our ability to balance changes. Your body has to continually adjust, balance-wise, to the body as it ages. So you always want to be working balance. Always, always, always. All right. Now to go to my knee weight, coming to isolating the top of the shoulder now with that fast move. Right here, all right, so one weight is up, here we go. Switch it, switch it. Now, what do I see a lot? I see this. That's not the move, elbow leads. Think about holding, if you were holding a bar, right, with barbells on it, plates on it, it's pretty hard to do this, right? You pull straight up. That's what I want you to think about here. Now, I'm in my wide stance for this one. And my knees have a little bend. I do not have my knees locked. Do not lock your knees. It stops blood flow, or decreases, I should say, blood flow. You don't want to do that ever, okay? <laughs> Roll out your shoulders. So when you lock your knees, you're really tightening that blood flow down to the lower part and tightening the blood flow coming back up. Now I take this to a wide squat now. So wide squat, come on up, high row, both arms. Down, pull. Pull, way down, pull it up. We're slowing this move down here. Both sides in action. And as we come to the end of this shoulder focused circuit, I hope you feel like you got a good shoulder workout. We can do some inner thigh here. Glutes on the outside. Abs are tight, compound move, brings that heart rate up. Good, all right. We're gonna put one way down. We're just gonna step to a wide squat, bringing the weight up in front. Final shoulder move here. Front raise, so step wide, right leg out. Here we go. Go wide, up to the front, other side. Sit back. To take these bends out, always just take the bend out, stay with the move. Get as deep as you can without pain. Pain is not good, ever. All right? Pain is your body talking to you. It's not saying work harder, push through this pain, and saying, hey, what you're doing is causing damage. Stop. So listen to those signals. Coming from your body. Perfect. No pain, no gain. That is garbage. Okay, just garbage. No pain. No pain and it's hard is kind of what's meant by that statement, but we take it that pain is okay to work through, and it's not. So just remember that. <laughs> that when it hurts, it's hurting for a reason. Okay, we have fast squats or fast rear leg raises, just like that. Okay? Otherwise, come with me. Down and up fairly quickly here. This is that fast paced move. Down and up. Wait in your heels. Sit back. Come up. Back. Up. Back. Up. Just like that. Or 
Watch your form. Shoulders are up. Chest is proud. Abs are tight. Driving those hips back and then driving them forward with a squeeze of the glutes. Room going fast doesn't mean your form suffers. Just moving quickly through the moves. And rest. All right. Into a deadlift. You're going to come down the weights facing each other. Down in your deadlift. Twist to one side. Weight together. Come up. And then we'll twist to the other side. Deep breath. Nice flat back. Knees are bent. Just like that deadlift, out to the side, drive through your heels, up, squeeze the glutes. So just go back, hips come up and forward. Just like when you pop out of a squat. And come all the way up and squeeze. When you twist, follow this weight with your eyes. This is your oblique circuit here, waistline. Working, I didn't see the squat there, sorry, it's deadlift. Working the waistline. Inner and outer obliques. Inner obliques right here. Good, all right, stick with one weight. Seen this over the years in my videos. We have a discus, so think about throwing a discus in the Olympics, right? Down, and then once you're here, crunch. So, ready? Abs are tight, twist, bring it up. Pull them tight there. So we're working obliques, and then right here, lower ab. And we all want that area nice and tight, right? Lower ab. Number one area that women in my 22 years experience have come up and said, what do I do about this? Well, you know what's coming next. If you've been around a while, abs are made in the kitchen, right? You gotta eat good food, nutritious food, high fiber food. Get rid of the processed food and sugar. That's where all that inflammation around your middle comes from. Those processed foods and sugar. So, we're building these strong abs. Let's get them showing. Let's eat right, okay? Good quality food really makes a difference. It matters. All right, back here. Uh, but then people say a calorie is a calorie. A calorie is a calorie in the sense that it's, it's a measurement of energy, right? Like that energy that provided to our body that we burn so that we can do our thing. But calories from low quality food, your body has to process in a different way, process that food and digest differently. It involves holding a lot of water, so inflammation. If you're eating foods that aren't real, that have been manufactured, your body doesn't want to do with them. So it has to halt everything. It slows down your metabolism good. and tries to figure it out. So the last thing we want as we get older is to slow down our metabolism. Am I correct? I think we will all agree on that. So, oblique lean, up to a press. Here we go. Lean it. Come on up. Press. Keep going. And I'll keep chattering around along about eating good quality food. Because I have had people that I work with, women, who are eating all the diet, food, you know what I'm talking about, I'm not doing any brand names, and the 100 calorie snacks, and you know, low fat, low sugar, whatever. And all that is is manufactured food that your body has to figure out how to get it through your system. I've had them change up their diet not decrease their calories, not at all. Change up the diet, they're eating more food because they're eating lots of fruits and vegetables, high fiber, and lo and behold, they begin losing weight for the very first time. And they're not starving. Here we go, lean, come up, they're eating reasonable portions, not overeating, eating nutritious high fiber food where the body starts to run optimally. It's getting what it needs, food is fuel, and your body needs fuel, it needs nutrition, and it needs energy. So, when you give it the good quality, it starts to hum along just like a car with premium gas in it. It's gonna run better, and when it runs better, it burns more calories. Your metabolism increases, and that's where the magic happens, okay? 
Maybe you're eating that good food and you're doing the strength work, both of which are increasing your metabolism. All right, I'm going to grab my heavy weights. We're going to a squat and then we're going to lean. So we're alternating the oblique lean. We'll go to your right first. So it's rear lift, lean, or squat. Here we go. And lean. Squat, other side, lean. Good. We're on the outer waistline here, these last couple rounds. Weight in your heels. I say that because I just rolled into the front of my foot. And I have to check my form too. And when I say weight in your heels or drive those hips back, it's probably because I'm catching myself trying to cheat. Your body will try to get away with whatever it can get away with to avoid doing this hard work. Its job is to protect you. We have to push through the hard work and the strength work to get the results. All right, we're headed to the floor. We're going to start with a fast move. Now I'm going to bring a couple set of weights. I need to use my lights since the second circuit. But I think I'm going to have them just in case. We're going to a fast chest press. So I'm going to hold my heavy weights. One weight is up, one is down. Same type of motion that we did for the shoulders, for the back. We're alternating. Press, 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 press. Both weights are moving at the same time. Press it up, press it up. My palms are facing each other. This move is hard and I'm using heavier weight. So it gets heavy if I had them held as if it were a bar. I think it'd be too heavy because gravity's pulling harder on that weight when it's across like that. Makes any sense. Ooh, I hope that clock has come. There it is. All right, three seconds. I can do it. Come on, Roto. Yeah, so if like this, you can see that gravity is pulling all the way across this weight, whereas here, it really is kind of protected by your arm. So a little bit less uh, pull with the way I was holding my weights. All right, skull pressure fast. Here we go. Just like this. Now, think about the upper arm. Don't have it going all over the place, okay? Keep the upper arm still as you can as we alternate this skull pressure right here. Hard stuff. Feel those triceps. We had to hit them. Total body. So far we've hit everything but these triceps. So as this gets heavy, if you need to put the weight down, I need to look at the clock, 10 seconds. I think I can do it. My form is starting to really fall apart, so I'm going to slow this down. My last few reps here. Wow. All right, combining those two. Let's do it in a bridge. I'm going to bring the hips up. So it's press, skull pressure, up and down. I'm going to lighten my weight. My arms are tired. Here we go. Press. Either side of the head. Extend it. Weight down. Press it up. Now, this press is fairly easy, right? Don't worry, we'll do another one. Heavier weight. But I had to lighten up because this tricep extension really got me. Use the fast paced move. You can see how that affects the muscles differently than when you're doing a slower move. Really woke them up and really fatigued them. So, lightening it up. But they're burning, so I know they're working. And rest. Good. I need to check what we're doing here. Moving dead bug. All right. Let's stay with the light weight. So, one arm is over, one is up. Leg is out. Now they move. Kind of like that fast paced sort of move. If you're just starting out, just hold the weight and do this. Ready? <laughs> here we go. Over. Over. So, just the legs if you're just starting out. Or, if you're finding the weight's too heavy, put the weight down. Do this without weight. I don't think you can hear me. I'm breathing pretty heavy here, which is great because we're on the floor, but this multiple muscle work has all my muscles wanting oxygen right now. Head to toe, really. And that's good. Check again. I think we have the chest press. Yep. 
Alright, so I'm going to isolate this chest press. I'm going to go heavy. As if I'm holding a bar here. And I'm going to push both weights up at the same time. Pushing my lower back to the mat to support the move. So it's press. And down. I promised that we'd have an opportunity to do this chest press with heavy weight. Here it is. Straight up and down as if you're holding a bar. See this a lot. Come up and click those weights together. Don't do that. Keep them about the same distance at the bottom and top. If you're holding a bar, you wouldn't be squeezing that bar together and clicking it together, right? You'd have to press it straight up and down. So think about that. It's going to help you with really good form here. And the triceps are probably screaming because they're assisting in this move. Good job. I'm going to climb it up here. Alright, I everything we can. I got on my list here. Alright, we're going to do a crunch. That's your move if you're just starting out. Otherwise, crunch, kick, lower the legs. Ready? Crunch, kick, lower, crunch it in. Kick it up, lower it down. Stay here. If you're just starting out, or more advanced, come with me. Abs tight. Hold them tight, only bring your legs down as far as you can and keep that back pressed to the mat. Maybe that's here. Maybe it's right here. Well, if you're really strong, you can bring them low. I'm going to go sort of in the middle, protecting my back. We're in this brace, which certainly helps with this back surgery recovery. But I want to protect it. All right, two options for you. Way up, you're going to crunch and down, crunch and down, or with me, roll it all the way up. Here we go, all the way up, way up, make a C, bring it back. So it's a scoop, up, scoop it back. And I hope you are feeling your abs burning right now, because this workout hit everything, including the oblique muscles, the inner oblique, and this rectus abdominis, which runs right up and down from your chest to your pelvic area. It's one muscle. <laughs> Rest, break, ah, oh, stretch. Reach your arms up overhead. Nice job. How did you do? Leave me messages. I love comments down below. I respond to all comments, back and forth here. I want to hear from you. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite exercise? How do you feel afterwards? Do you feel awesome? Extend the leg up. I don't think many people get through a workout and say, I don't feel good about that. Maybe they'll say, I didn't work you know, at my maximum potential. Bring your knee in here, lay this leg down, and I say, are you finishing with me right now? Reach away, because if you are, you did what you were able to do today to get to this point right here, and that is awesome, right? Maybe it wasn't your best day. I have days like that. Maybe you feel like you crushed this workout. And those days are the best days ever, but they don't happen every day. Go on your back, reach your arms up over your head. So, the amount of sleep you've gotten. How hydrated are you? What foods did you eat yesterday? What was the quality of those foods? Bring the knee in. That's where your energy comes up from. Foot up here. If it's good quality food, you're probably going to have better energy the next day. Hormones, oh my gosh, don't get me started, right ladies? Hormones are huge when it comes to your energy level and your ability to perform. Bring this knee in, lay the other leg down, and across. So, I mean it, the fact that you're here right now, however you got here, I'm glad you're here and I'm proud of you. I mean that, reach away. Ah, oh, be catching your breath. <laughs> My heart rate's finally coming down. That's good. And one more time, hands up over your head. Big extension. Flex your feet here. Get that lower quad or lower calf activated and stretching. 
And let's roll it on over. This is my signature stretch here. Grab a foot, drive your hip into your mat here. You have the front of this leg really stretching nicely. And switch sides. This is going to be a quick stretch here. If you'd like a longer stretch, I do link in my playlist. You just have to click on it when it pops up on your screen here in just a couple minutes. And you can jump over to a longer stretch. Come on up. Round and flatten the back across the shoulder. Stretch. Flatten, reverse this. Lift the head up out of the neck, neck up out of the shoulders. Come to your flat back, toes together, knees nice and wide. As you rock back here, feel the inner thigh and hands high over your head. Try to feel the stretch coming all the way from your waist up your back. Sink into this as you get more comfortable in the stretch. And then you can put your hands together, bring them behind your neck. Body weight down on those elbows is going to stretch those triceps that we just fired up and burned. Back of your arm. Good. Come on up. Turn it on around. Have a seat. Big smile. Let's bring one ear to a shoulder. You did it. You made it. You're here now. Be proud of that. Other side. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I want you as part of our community. There's never a cost to subscribe. Head up, drop it. And that way, when you open your YouTube page, the latest workout will be right there for you. So you can join us more often, and that's a wonderful thing. Have a great day. I will see you next time.